mean, it's crazy. You know, everybody wants a, a full life, and uh, these people don't get one. They get attacked when they're praying in the mosque. They get attacked in the street. They get attacked in their homes. Where are they supposed to feel safe at? You know, not even in your home where somebody can walk in and literally steal it, and there's no consequences. People like to make it about religion because it's easy. It's easy to say, oh, it's the Jews versus the Muslims. But it's like, where did this start? 1948, it really popped off. People were exiled. My grandparents were exiled from Gaza. And if you look at the maps, it's just been Palestinians losing land every year, losing people every year, losing power every year, yet they still fight. They're still resilient. They're still screaming, free Palestine. And I think that's, that's the best part that I love about my culture is no matter what they're faced with, they're still resilient. And it's not really a fight because, you know, the Israelis have funding from the U.S. because the U.S. and Israel are allies. It's not a war where it's military against military. It's their military, their police against civilians. And is it really attacking? If I'm throwing rocks at you and you're shooting missiles at me, is it really the same? You know, people get fed up and tired. Like, at one point, do you just lay down and die or do you try to push back? And it's like, what power do you have if you have no military, you have no funding? Not even the Middle Eastern countries around you are supporting you because they're in the pocket of Israel too. I've been blessed and there are a lot of people who have been blessed to make it out, but it still hurts. It hurts seeing my people, my culture, my family, my heritage being attacked and either people don't know or they don't care. It's almost like it's a privilege to make it out, but what choice did you have? It's easy to be in this position and feel helpless because you're on the outside looking in, but you're seeing the pain that's happened. So even from Nashville, from DC, from New York, from any place in the world, the Palestinian blood runs deep. We love our country, we love our people, and from Nashville to Palestine, to Gaza, to Jerusalem, to every single part of the West Bank on down. We love them, we're supporting them, and the best we can do is pray and uh, share the story.